There comes a point in every man's life that they have to admit that they are wrong. I have shit on Mythical and Demian for the last year and a half. Today's the video that I admit that Mythical and Demian is actually good. Today, I'm gonna showcase you guys my secret Mythical and Demian deck utilizing Where Art Thou and Searching Magician Souls every turn. How, you might ask? We well, gotta stay tuned to the video for that one. So you guys are ready for this Mythical and Demian video. Smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to sign up on Patreon because every single video moving forward is gonna showcase a supplemental duels, multiple supplemental duels of the specific decks. So if you wanna see Mythical and Demian duels, sign up on Patreon. Check out TrueGaming.com for the best play bets in the game. And with that being said, let's get started, boys, on today's Mythical and Demian video. It's Mythical and Demian time. Let's go. <laughs> For the longest time, I've been the biggest outspoken critic about the Mythical Engine. The mythical Beast Engine. I thought it was okay, but it bricked too much. But I firmly believe that with the correct build, with the correct build, this deck is not just salvageable, but an absolute powerhouse. So I'm going to showcase you guys a few secret cards that I've discovered that are absolutely broken in this deck. And you're going to witness true greatness in itself. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to showcase two different combat tutorials for you guys. And then two different deck lists based on how you want to build the deck. Whether you want it to be savage as hell or more controlly, etc. Anyways, let's get started. So first things first, you guys, you guys can witness off the top. You look at one card in my hand and that is Where Art Thou? That is a card that no one's playing in Pendulums right now. But the fact that it searches Souls, Kepler, Mini Myth Myth Mythical Jackal, it is extremely powerful. So, what does this allow you to do? It allows you to play Restage in a, in, and make it good. Uh, with re just, Only playing Restage and Souls makes Restage a brick a lot of the time. But if you're playing Wear Out Thou, you could search your Souls. You have 5 ways into the Mini Jackal. So now you have like 11 ways into Magician Souls that's, or something like that. So it's a free plus right there. So what we're gonna do first here is uh, we're gonna activate the institution before anything to get a Magister. Uh, I've also been a big outspoken critic about Magister, but if you're playing mythical version, you should be playing Magister over Chronograph. Uh, just the way the deck is built. And uh, with institution, you can search Magister and you want other cards to search that, aren't lo that are low level, that aren't just Servant. Uh, here, we're gonna go Souls. We're gonna draw after we search. Here, we're gonna draw with Souls. Uh, so we're gonna search as well, right hand. And the idea here is you just wanna put up as many cards on the field to see if your opponent could like play, if he ha obviously just doing the test hand here. But you wanna try and play through like an Imperial and Jackal, you know, just to see like, look at your opponent, if you're gonna put up like an Instant Fusion, what's his response to Chaining Instant Fusion, just see if he's gonna have an Imperial Jack. Uh, gonna go for the Crowley there. We're gonna draw some, just free draws, boys. This is some free draws. Uh, we're gonna send that to Celine. get Mighty Master at this point check your opponent if he has like any thoughts And look at this like this is so plus it's unbelievable like you just plus for days uh, You guys see the so uh, when when Mythical and Demon gets rolling with spell cards and spell counters And all this wasn't possible without souls where after that restage when it gets rolling It's extremely tough to stop with spell counters going everywhere like your opponent You didn't pen someone your opponent Nibiru uh, Imperm there you, you just destroyed them like this is just this is just too good, boys. I literally pen summoned one card there. Uh, I ended on seven negates without pen summoning. This was like I pen summoned one mighty master. I didn't even need to add the magister. You get to save your pen summon, and you still have multiple cards in hand. This is just a, a rough idea of my version of mythical Demian. I'm gonna showcase you guys now a version without wear off thou. Uh, I don't like that version. I think it's better with wear off thou. I'm, I'm gonna showcase a version kind of like minion, like half of the turbo Demian half of mythical and demon combined together so we'll see how this one goes so again just to showcase you guys different ideas the reason why i'm not a fan of a version like this is that uh if they ash the cerberus it really hurt our, your hand right there pretty badly uh so that's why i think the turbo version with uh turbo mythical and demon with wear off thou's uh are, are a lot better it allows you to cipher through your deck for crowley and you can make daybreaker to pop your own cerberus to still trigger stuff off institution. You can do a lot of cool stuff uh, in regards to that. Uh, so we're gonna pen someone like that there. We're gonna make the breaker first. Then we're gonna make that absolute cross sheep. Put an Appalooza under there. It was a free Appalooza. 
And then we end up with five negates here with Reflection being summoned on the opponent's turn via Selene. So it still ends on lots of negates. I'm going to show you guys the deck profile of both of these decks. This is version number one, utilizing a triple of every single Endymion card. You could take out a second Magister and second Reflection. The issue with that is that Magister is your high scale, Mighty Master is your high scale. You don't have Abductor to search the high scale. It's reliant on searching them as well as Institution to search the high scale, Master to search the high scale. Kind of reliant on that. You're playing a big mythical beast engineer, but no Bastard Basilisk or Garuda. You side the Garuda for specific purposes, going first, playing around Dark Ruler if you can draw into your restage right hand, or if you're playing against back row decks for a pop one. But at the end of the day, it's a brick by itself, and uh, it requires other cards to be good. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, if you guys want to see duels, by the way, with the, this mythical Damian deck, where I absolutely had a great time clapping people it's on the patreon right now so make sure to go sign up on the patreon if you want to see mythical endemian duels the, the videos are up right now as always uh and then here are the mythical engine the idea is that you want to turbo into mythical jackal to be able to protect all your plays with jackal king from hand traps and to be able to wear off that the level one to get souls so uh either or you could use wear off thou for the souls wear off thou for the jackal i tried putting in a kepler engine it was actually super cool because contract gives counters to everywhere uh, the mythical cards as well uh the the contract so it's like it's still good but at the end of the day i opted not to to play it in this this is like this uh tip just pure mythical endemian most counters everywhere and really utilizing uh the where art thou with the jackal and to take full advantage of restage with the magician souls that's the whole idea of it like if you were to draw restage of course you want to open the souls also while we're playing instant fusion and I really wanted to play Reasoning because you're playing a lot of level 1s, but I opted not to because uh, you are playing 6 level 7s at the same time, and that's probably what they're going to call. Uh, one of each spell book for this version, not enough extenders to play 2 uh, Blue Boy, 2 Secrets. You just want to search with Crowley, and it makes random dead Cerberus is actually good. Uh, going second, Cerberus is good whenever it's not Ash or whenever it's not Savage Dragon. And yeah, that's it for the main deck here. Uh, this is what will be the side deck against when you're playing some combo deck you have 11 cards to play going second you just draw two of them you're playing a bunch of draw cards that's the idea a lot of people think you can't go second against inferno bowl they're idiots if they use the smoke grenade to get rid of your sphere mode you still have dark roller you still destroy them and one cerberus resolving is probably clears half their board uh extra deck still triple sling for the cross sheep combo add in and then girsu over the saryuja because for this build it doesn't uh spam like the other builds usually do so i think nigirsu could be better for this to clear stuff like dragoon at the same time cerberus could banish a random card your opponent controls to get to like 4000 5000 attack to kill the dragoon which is cool and that's it for this version now i'm going to showcase you guys my second version this is the second version this version is uh, with a much smaller mythical engine still utilizing magical abductor as well with a mini reflection only one magister you're still playing the institution but you're not playing the wear of thou you're not turboing into the mini jackal you're playing more spell book cards because you're throwing chronograph and allure in here so more draw power but sometimes uh it's like a little of everything in this build you're kind of playing like turbo and demian with this you're not playing restage because you can't turbo into your magician souls but it's all good because you just turbo into secret village via saryusha so that's like your way to out the dark ruler this version is also good this is like the second version that i showed you guys there are two different deck lists the second comp tutorial utilizes this uh they're both good in their own right what do i think i'm right now i'm having a blast playing the first version uh with the wear off down with the souls it's just so cool lots of spell counters i'm trying to incorporate kepler in that version as well i'll showcase you guys when i get ready when i get ready that, that ready as for this i think the first one's better but this is still good for the abductor is too good the abductor is so good i would love to play abductor in this version but it just hurts way too much with, with, uh, with the other version i mean Hurts way too much when they hand trap the Cerberus. I want Cerberus getting hand trapped or savaged to be a like a. If you're playing a max out of Cerberus engine, you need it to resolve sometimes. But it's like uh, I don't want to risk it with Abductor. That's, this version is kind of like with a little of everything. So that's it for both videos or both the versions of Mythical Beast. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you guys got this far, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Don't forget also that we have lots of duels of Mythical and Demian on the patreon so go check it out on patreon if you guys want to see more mythical and demian duels this is actually i'm having a blast with it at the moment also if you guys want to learn any pendulum training i have tri uh, coaching available on paypal 30 dollars for two hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching of the pen god so go sign up down below on paypal and lastly if you guys want to get a beautiful trip game play mat get it it's only 30 dollars while limited time lasts a cloth play mat if you guys want any discounts look down below in the description for all the Yu-Gi-Oh discounts you need. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.